All right, we're here with Coach Jeff Johnson, about to begin the conference baseball season here in the tough Panhandle Conference. Coach, got a couple of games coming up this week. We're ready to roll, aren't we? Yeah, Brian, it's that time of year again, you know, and, and uh, the non-conference season seemed like it was probably shorter than ever this year. And uh, but it's time for the you know the, the games that count to start. You start playing those, and you know we're excited to get going with it. Uh, 24 games in our season. We start out this week with Tallahassee. Uh, supposed to play them tonight uh, at five o'clock. You know, weather permitting. If, right. it, if it does happen to get rained out tonight, it'll move to Wednesday night. Okay. Tomorrow night at five, and then Thursday here at five. So we got two home games this week. Night games. Hope a, hope a great crowd shows up and see us play. Okay. And um, you told me we have a policy this year. If it rains. The next available date. Yeah, if it, our, our rain policy is next available date. So if you get a Tuesday night game rained out, you'll go to Wednesday night. If you know, and Thursday night, you go to Friday and Saturday, Sunday. So okay. uh, next available date is our rain policy. Okay. So we have a four game set with Tallahassee. We yeah. play them here and then we go over there. Yeah, we changed last year. Uh, we added a game where we've been playing 20 conference games and we wanted to go to 24. And the easiest and cheapest way to do that was play a doubleheader. Okay. Uh, so our first round, we're going to go Tuesday, Thursday, doubleheader, Saturday, and play the same team four times. And on the next round, we'll rotate home and away uh, to get our six games okay. each week's team. Fantastic. So Tallahassee and then right into Pensacola State. You know, it is. It is. And uh, we, we get a bye week. We get our bye um, after the Tallahassee series. And we got some non-conference games during that week. We play Chat Valley on okay. Tuesday. And we travel down to Broward, who's 19-2, who's and two, uh, wow. for, for a Friday doubleheader Saturday next week. And then we come back and play Pensacola and crank our, our conference season back up again. Okay. Um, been looking at some stats. Max Guzman, one of your main returners, uh, one of your only two returners from last year's uh, national championship team, hitting the ball pretty well. Got seven home runs, uh, hitting about 485. Yeah, Max has had a great early part of the season, and you know, driving in runs in the middle of our order, and and really just kind of picked up where he left off last year. And uh, real proud of the way he's played. Uh, just got to continue to, you know, like I like old guys like yesterday at the end of practice. I mean, it's a new season now. That 485 goes away from That's me right. right now. It's time to get going to this conference exactly. and see what kind of numbers you can put up there. But he's had a, he's had a great early part of the season. I'm really proud of Ed Montamericon, too. He's he's really made some strides for us. Another sophomore that's returning for us as well. Okay. And, and proud of the way he's playing right now. Anybody else doing anything special on offense right now? You know, we, we're, we're swinging it. Um, Francisco Arbaez, who was a, a part-time player for us last year, he's doing a really good job. I think he's hitting around 375 in the front of our order right okay. now. We're hitting in one, two hole for us and, and doing extremely well, uh, too. Uh, you know, we just got to get the whole team where the whole lineup, we're getting deep through our lineup. That's the, that's the key to being successful. Right, okay. Now, I know we got a really good pitching staff. Andrew Grogan's off to a pretty good start. He's uh, he's pitched 30 innings. He's 3-0 and right now. You know, it's kind of crazy. Those guys that we're naming are all sophomores off that team last year. and. You know, really, really, Andrew was the only pitcher we had returning. And then Ed Mon and Max were the only two guys that really started. Uh, Francisco played a little bit for us last year. But, but those guys have been through the, you know, the rigmarole, so to speak, of the, of the junior college season. And now, that hopefully, the conference season, they've been through that. And they'll, they'll pick up and, and play well there during that time, too. All right. So a lot of good games coming up uh, in baseball. And, Coach, we're all excited about what's about to happen Wednesday in Ocala with the uh, with the men's basketball team. So put on your AD hat and let's talk about them for a minute. Hey, I'm just proud of you know Coach Campbell and his group and you know to get back into the state tournament that was a big thing for us and our men's program with our tradition here at Chipola and and when you're out of it a couple of years you you realize how how important it is to get back to that point and you know look forward to you know hopefully they go in there tomorrow night and play very well and you know play a tough East Florida team who's mm -hmm. one of probably the top two ranked teams in the in the state and. Uh, had some tradition there. I think they won the state two years ago as well. And and uh, so, you know, we at one time, those guys in Northwest Florida, the two top teams are going to be on the same bracket. But right. I think at the end, uh, Eastern Florida came came from behind and won the and won that league. They lost a couple games early. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully our guys play well tomorrow. They got a tough challenge and get through that. Then you know you're in you're in the mix then. Right, right. Um, Indian River or St. Pete, if we're successful um, on Wednesday, I believe is is how the brackets falling out. Yeah, you know St. Pete's perennially in this thing as well. Uh, Indian River, I, you don't hear them as much as you do uh, St. Pete, but you know the guy down at St. Pete uh, does a really good job with his club as well. And. And, uh, you know, be exciting, exciting environment, exciting, exciting time for our right. guys. And, and Brett says we're playing some of our best basketball of the year. We're kind of peaking at the right time, so hopefully that'll, that'll work. You know, we, we've really seen to play well against the better teams in the league. Mm -hmm. You take Northwest Florida, for example. I mean, we played them uh, off, off the top.
stop every every time. You know, we're in the game to the very end. We beat them one of the three times, but you know, the games were close and came down to final three minutes in each one of those games. So, you know, hopefully uh, we'll we'll pick it up a step and, and be able to play. You know, get this first one and then go from there. Right. Um, Opportunities to listen and watch that um, on YouTube. You can go to the Chipola College website. There will be a link to that. Just look for state tournament. And also our friends uh, Clint and Russell, uh, are they both both headed down? I know Clint. I know Russell's headed down. Okay. And I think Clint's headed with him. Uh, okay. The WJQ uh, 100.9 would be on there. And you also can go on Chipola website and go to the basketball schedule. And I think it would be on the front page, too. You can just click on the link there as well. Okay, so you can watch it on YouTube. And while you're watching it, you can listen to Clinton Russell with the great play-by-play -play from yeah. Deep South Sports. Yeah. Um, they always do a great job. Um, they're just fantastic friends of the program. Yeah, and just really help us, you know, and, yeah. and they really care about Chipola and, and, and been with us for a lot of years. I know my 20, 21 years now, they've been with us yeah. the whole time and, and uh, just always kind of doing above and beyond, even with our baseball stuff now, with our, with our web streaming, uh, they're out there helping us with that as well. Right, right, doing a great job. All right, Coach, anything else to add for the, uh, for the baseball conference season coming up here? This week? No, we just decided and hope hope we get a good crowd out and and uh, we got a good club. We got to still make some. We got we got some strides to make to be where we want to be at the end of the season. But uh, you know, but just come out and support our guys. It's a great a great brand of baseball. Uh, I say it all the time. It's you know everybody goes to Florida State and watches those games. We got as good of players here as they do anywhere right. else. Right. Again, you know, eleven players drafted last year. So the guys that you see on this field could be in the pros or definitely at Division One very soon. Um, comfortable seats in the shade if it's hot and we got a new right field club if you want to go out there in right field and watch some home runs being hit okay. um, just a great great atmosphere for baseball no doubt no doubt all right coach thanks thank you and Brian. good luck with conference thanks for all you do all right